You've probably heard us say on this channel that instead of buying a gaming headset, you should just buy a good music headphone and add a microphone. But what if somebody did that for you? Well, that's what Audio-Technica did with their new M50X STS USB and non-USB headphones. You just took a good music headphone and you slap a mic on it. Boom, it's done, it's good, it's great, it's gonna be great. Or is it? That's what we're about to find out. Both of these headphones are based on the Audio-Technica M50Xs, which is a very well-respected and very popular headphone. I'm wearing it right now. See, David's using them, we use them on the WAN show. They're good headphones. It seems like, as long as they put a good microphone on here, it's a swing and a hit. As I said, there's two different models. We have a USB version and a non-USB version, which allows you to have a 3.5 millimeter plug, a quarter inch plug, or an XLR plug. So you can basically plug this into whatever audio interface you already have set up. This is gonna be a great option for streamers. And you can hit the ground running. 45 millimeter drivers, microphone mute, yes! Condenser microphone, a USB output, and a collapsible portable design. Inside the box, we have a pair of spare ear pads. I like to see it and inside that's um, about it decent length for a cable your, your wingspan is roughly your height so I'm about six one. No, oh, well this is making me look like I'm five eight but I swear <laughs> I'm six feet date me and you get a USB a and there's the USB C adapter that is a very skinny look at how little uh, material is outside of the actual port there and having this adapter means that this cable must be permanently attached. That's a, actually really a bummer because you can replace the cable on the M50Xs. Thank you. This is a pair that we just had at work. They're David's. They twist out and there you can switch them. It is a proprietary connector, which is kind of a bummer, but at least it's a swappable. It comes with three different types of cables too. Well, they got a short, a long and a coiled one. But what's weird is that on this box, there's two plugs, an XLR plug, and that says that there's a quarter inch adapter. So what's going on in this one? That's unexpected. <laughs> there's the adapter. Okay, no, I, so I get the logic here. Cause usually a lot of streamers will interface, you plug this into their interface, right? You'll have your Go XLR or whatever, and you'll have a cable for your headphones and a cable for your microphone and you plug them into that. It's just a little weird <laughs> compared to the simplicity of the USB cable. Let's take a look around. You have a leatherette headband with minimal padding, but they're also very light. You have a ratchet adjustment on the side. Out of the box, they come with a breathable nylon for the ear cup that's also a fake leather outside, whereas typically they just give you these pleather pads. I found the M50Xs to get pretty warm pretty quickly. I don't personally find them to be a very comfortable headset, though some people can wear them all day. Your mileage may vary. We have a monitor volume plus and minus. I imagine this is for your side tone. That's where you can hear yourself speak through your own headphones. It says push to monitor and then you can turn the volume up or down. That's actually a really nice addition because sometimes headphones come with it and you can only turn it on and off. And I like the look of the microphone. I like how it's got a metal grill on it. It reminds me of like an old timey microphone. It's, a, it's flip to mute labeled right there where you gotta go past it. There's also a distinct click. It's a pretty simple all-in-one solution, and as much as we can bemoan the lack of features, if it does the things it wants to do really well, which is play music and put sound in other people's ear, good stuff. And we'll find out how good they do after I tell you a little secret. A secret lab. Thanks to Secret Lab for sponsoring this video. Secret Lab chairs are designed to keep you comfortable for those long nights of work and play. Their Titan Evo 2022 series chair offers four-way lumbar support, comes with a magnetic memory foam head pillow, and is offered in different upholsteries like hybrid leatherette, soft weave fabric, and Nappa leather. Best of all, a five-year extended warranty is included along with a 49-day return policy. Head to the link in the description to check out Secret Lab today. Bada bing, bada boom, the drivers are immediately recognized. It's setting itself up. I will say that this is kind of long, this whole situation. I think what would have been nice is if they included the adapter on here as like, if it was attached, you know, with a little bit of thing of rubber so you could just take it off or on and you won't, because you, you're gonna lose this. I'm gonna plug into the other port. And I immediately hear the side tone coming in so I can hear myself talking. Again, I can adjust it with the side buttons. I can make it louder. Oh, and it has a nice beat. Ooh. Um, and now I have no side channel out, or I can just turn it off and I can turn it back on. I'm gonna have it on because it helps me. I can't adjust the volume on my computer with it just for the side tone. Audio wise, in terms of listening, they sound the same. It is a pair 
of Audio-Technica M50Xs. The microphone itself, uh, we're gonna do a quick little recording here. This is a test recording to hear the sound of the Audio-Technica M50X STS-USB. And it is pretty quiet right now. You'd have to kind of bump this up a little bit in terms of volume. Now let's do a sinful Caesar sipped his snifter, seized his knees and sneezed. Uh, Fa 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 ta. To sit in solemn silence in a dull dark dock, in a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock, awaiting the sensation of a short sharp shock from a cheap and chippy chopper on a big black block. Cool. Let's take a listen. Wow. Okay. This sounds. This is a really really good microphone. No setup raw into Audacity. I didn't do anything. I didn't adjust it. Obviously, if you want to use this, you can just adjust some of the settings, especially from the mouth. Like I think I was peeking a little bit because it was a little bit close to my mouth. But like that's really really, really good microphone for a headset. This would be amazing for streaming. Like it's an easy, easy mic setup. It worked out of the box really well and with just a few minor tweaks, you can make it sound really, really quite good. In terms of audio quality, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time talking about the Audio-Technica M50X's audio quality. There's so many opinions out there on it. For me, they're a little bit bassy and boomy. They don't have the same kind of punch that I usually want, but they do have a great amount of like energy in the bass that makes a lot of music very, very fun to listen to. They don't have the highest treble extension, nor are they the most resolving in terms of details, but like 95% of what you play on these is gonna sound great. If this is your first step into the entry level audiophile area with high quality headphones, you're gonna love these. They're, they just, they're great. There's a reason they're so highly recommended and so widespread. Or is there a little bit of overhype on them? Yeah, but like, they're an easy recommend. You can always get them. They sound good. Um, <laughs> but these are aimed at streamers, and what do streamers do? Uh, a lot of gaming. So how are they as a gaming headset? Well, let's play a game! Positionality and soundstage are fine. Like, I wouldn't go to this headset exactly if you're aiming for the most competitive gaming experience um but like it is pretty good but you're not getting you're not able to take advantage of anything like virtual surround sound like there's no dts support or dolby atmos kind of stuff it's just a stereo headset so you're at the uh you're at the will of how well designed the sound engine is but it's not bad you could get better positional audio and soundstage with an open back but you have to deal with all of the caveats of having an open back headphone like you know bleed Speaking of which, these are decent at not letting sound in. They don't have any sort of active noise canceling, so you're still gonna hear a lot of higher, like, or so you're still gonna hear a lot of like the mid sounds, like human voices and stuff through them. But that's just all my opinions. I'm not some sort of robot or machine that's specifically designed to objectively measure headphones and tell you exactly how they might sound. That's what the labs is for. So let's take a look at them charts. A do 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 do. Something to note is that. You can get two different sets of pads, and since they are of different materials, they do affect the sound. So, using the nylon headsets, we can see right here that this is a bassy headphone. Look at that bump at 300 hertz and below. Against our target, huge bump, but it lacks a bit of the rumble in the sub bass, and because it's the bass shelf is being applied at the 300 hertz mark, it, it sounds boomier than like rumbly, and it lacks a little bit of punch and nuance. But as you can see in the mids, it follows the curve very nicely, and it's a little bit of a mellower treble sound. There's some peaks in the really high brilliance area, but if we're looking at the upper mids and the presence section of the graph, you will find that these will be a little bit relaxed, which is why people tend to say that they're not the most detailed. And then if we look at the left Leather, it's a pretty big difference. We lose a lot of that elevated boomy bass and it becomes a little bit tighter with a greater dip just above 300 in the low mids. To my ears, that dip in the mids is not as noticeable as this chart might make it look. And then we see that the treble response isn't touched too much between the two materials with maybe that dip at five to six K. But still, it's a pretty good sounding headphone with a little bit of color to it and a relaxed upper end. So it's never gonna be fatiguing or tiring. Here is our isolation chart, so how well it blocks out other sounds. What you're looking at is that zero line, that's zero dBs of reduction. As we go further negative, we're seeing a greater and greater reduction. Even with both pads, reduction is really only in the high end stuff. Stuff like active noise canceling helps out big time in these mids and reduces kind of the 
uh, vibration or the resonance of voices and it can block stuff out, but these don't have any of that, so we don't get it. And then here's the mic response. As you can see, very, very good. It's unlike our headphone curve, the microphone target is a flat line. Why is that? Because we're looking at a compensated graph. So the target for microphones is totally industry standard and agreed upon, whereas when we're talking about headphones, the jury's still out on what the headphone target is. So there's different machines for measuring and all that stuff, but everyone in the industry agrees that microphones should sound a certain way. You'll notice at the bottom that there's a big roll off sub 100 hertz. That doesn't really matter for a microphone that's designed for the human voice and actually can be a benefit because you won't hear like any ambient rumbles. So like that's a solid microphone. That's a great microphone that you can use for anything and you can trust that it's giving a very, very accurate reproduction of what you are actually sounding like. The price of the ATH M50X, the normal, not headset version, is 169. So what kind of a premium is Audio-Technica tacking on to the microphone clad headsets? Well, if you buy the USB version, it comes to a whopping price of 229. So that's a $60 premium over the normal ones. Uh, the XLR version, it comes in at just $200. And you don't really get a lot extra here as well as there's some sacrifices that I think they just didn't need to make, and I wish that they didn't. Interchangeable cables, maybe a removable microphone. Just making these more versatile would be better. What really would have been cool is if they just sold these at the $230 price point and gave me interchangeable cables so I just got the XLR cable and the USB cable. That would have been a way better solution and I'm really sad that they didn't go with that because I think that these justify their price, at least brand new. But if you want something that has, that's far more feature rich, that has multi-channel support, spatial audio and integrated EQ, look at the SteelSeries Arctis Nova Pro, which comes in at just $224 on Amazon right now. It might not sound as good as this, but it's a lot, a lot of creature comforts. The other thing, what if you bought a pair of these by themselves and then maybe added an additional microphone? Well, they've put in a really, really good mic. And I think the mic that they have attached here makes this a really good value. Think about the Antlion Mod Mic, which you can like tape to any headset you want. Actually, the Mod Mic Uni uses this exact headphone on their product page to display it. But if you want the Mod Mic and the adapter for USB, that's gonna cost you 93 bucks. So this undercuts that by about 30 to $40, which is really good. At the end of the day, Audio-Technica has created a great headset for gamers whose highest priority is great audio in both mic and headphone. I can rec highly recommend, great. Good job, Audio-Technica. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, why don't you check out another video on the Drop Plus Epox H3X. They're another headphone that's just focused on doing the basics and they come in at a much cheaper price. It's worth checking out.